So I've got this little musical idea here, and I'm using the Hanion Sonic SE, which is new with Cubase 6. And at the moment, I've got this classic general MIDI patch, which is a soundtrack. So if you've used old hardware, you would have come across this kind of texture before. It's a very, very classic sound. So what I want to do is I want to expand on that and I'm going to really bring in that whole kind of classic workstation concept where we've got a single preset that is actually a combination of others. So we create, when we're playing the chords on the keyboard, we create a very thick and moving and evolving sound. So I'm going to open up the Hadeon Sonic SE. I'm going to come down to the second channel in the multi-program rack and I'm going to pick something different. So I'm going to go for a string and the ensemble strings is a preset that I actually like. I think this could work really nicely in harmony with the first one. And what we need to do is come onto the MIDI and we need to select the MIDI channel to be the same as the first. So they're both going to receive on MIDI channel one. And you can see here I've got a different transpose setting and that's what I'm going to keep. So I'm actually making that plus 12. I'll take it back to how it was before, but you're going to see here if you increase it, this program is going to play an octave higher than the other one. Let's have a listen to how that sounds. I'm going to solo just the pad. I'm going to mute the strings. So they've added a real nice extra layer. Let's come to the mix. We can adjust the level. You can pan these as you can see here. Let's add another layer. So I'm gonna go for something a little bit more effect-like here. Let's come to the third one. Sound effects, and let's have a look. This swish and swish. Go to the MIDI, gonna drop it down, gonna select channel one. Transposition, not sure just yet. Let's have a listen and see how that sounds. Mix is too high. Well look, what I'll do is I'll take that up a bit. Let me think about really high. Let's try two octaves up from the original. That's good. What I'd like to do though is take the release on the amplifier envelope and increase that. So it's gonna extend the sound when it's fading down after we've let go of the keys. Yeah, I like that, a bit more. And also, let's slow the attack. It's going to be smoother on the way up. Going to go to the mix. Just bring the level down a bit. That's good. Now what about an arpeggiated layer? Let's come down to synth comp and let's see if we can find anything with the arp in there, shimmering up, for example. It's loading it up. Let's go to MIDI. Let's make this the same MIDI receive channel. That's number one. Transposition, I'll take a guess, maybe about 12 is gonna work here. So let's have a listen, let's get the mix ready. Let's bring it down and gradually bring this up. Okay, I'm gonna keep that central. Try a longer release on there. That's actually better with the short release. So what we've got is now we can play other chords, of course. So it's a real expensive and lush sounding pad sound now because we've layered together those elements inside the Hadeon Sonic SE. So it's another way you can add some extra versatility to this new plugin inside Cubase 6.